Virgo. Dang, that's dark. Oh, that's better. All right. What's up, Virgo? I lit this, the smudgeage up for you. I'm going to smudge out these cards. Um, did a couple vids and a couple more calls, but now I'm going to do your reading. Thank you so much for coming in number three for the second time in a row. Um, I really, really appreciate any Virgos or cross-watchers that watch my uh, Virgo videos. This could be for your moon, sun, rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, whatevs, whatever you got Virgo in, okay? Um, yeah, and if you keep the views up, you know, you'll be number one next week if you want to be. Or you could be number three. I still like number three, too. I still appreciate you. Um, and if this is your first time viewing, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button. It really helps keep my channel going. So, you know, um, it lets YouTube know that you like me and you want to see more videos. All right. Awesome. So I smudged out the cards. We're going to pray and get into your reading. All right. Dear God, Mother Gaia, higher self. Oh, God, higher self, spare guides and angels, please protect me and my viewers by only allowing, oh wait, sorry, only allowing messages in from the highest of vibrational beings and block any negative energies from entering the sacred space, so mote it be. Yeah, sorry Virgo. It's been a really long day. I've actually already spoken for a full 170 minutes straight. That's a lot of talking. If you try and talk to for a hundred and not straight, that's a lie. Just all, all day long. I didn't mean to say straight. A lot of those minutes were straight though. <laughs> and I also work with, so when I'm not doing tarot card reading, I work with um, a client who's completely nonverbal. So that means I am very verbal on that job too. All right. Make plans and focus. All right. Interesting stuff, Virgo. Um, you don't normally have a problem with that, though. You guys are some of the most um, organized people I've ever met in my life. So definitely, you know, keep that part of you nice and strong right now. Your organizational skills are going to come in super handy. Um, and if there's something that you're working on or if it's a, or if it's this particular relationship that you're asking about, I think maybe, um, ooh, you are not alone. So Virgo, whatever spiritual work you've been doing, and if that's what your focus has been, good job. It's working really well. Your spirit guides and angels are very, very close to you. And um, I honestly feel like Virgo has been putting in my, my Virgo light workers have been really putting in the time to meditate, to cleanse, to do the things, do all the things that we do, you know? Ooh, and staying grounded. You do what you got to do too, Virg, to, um, you know, stay in that earth energy. So, you know, we may see some Virgos out there hugging some trees and digging their toes in the dirt. You know, don't judge them. If you see a Virgo outside walking barefoot in the grass, just let them do it. You know, um, or give your Virgo time to take a bath. Ooh, wise one. Okay, so Virgo, your um, your person's pretty smart, man, and and I think that they are definitely um, they want to work things out with you. Bask and join light. Yeah, they're a naturally optimistic person. Definitely. And it looks like summer is going to be a nice time for you too, Virgo. I, I do. I think that's going to be nice. I like your person. I think this is going to be a much better reading. Ooh, be the light. Your person's definitely gifted or witchy and spiritual with that wise one and the white witch. Those are two really spiritual. Uh, I get a lot of spiritual vibes from that per that person. Um, protection guardian, drop your shields. I think you scare them a little bit, Virgo. And I mean, or they're really afraid to get hurt by you. Um, 
Transform and unveil your gifts. Both of you, you might, both of you might have Scorpio in your chart. Uh, also, both of you are, you know, sometimes that shapeshifter or the word shapeshifter even can get some like negative connotations, and sometimes I make nerd jokes about shapeshifters, but like, I definitely um, think that that shapeshifter is way more of um, that transformative energy, though. You know, it's more of a we're always growing and we're always changing things and I don't know man and it's I'm sorry I'm, I'm pretty tired but honestly I think that you know it's that transformative energy though that really makes you a higher level spiritual being and then during those transformations that you go through that's where the learning happens and that's where you pass it on to other people, you know, and that's how you become a light worker, you know. Ooh, Empress. Beautiful, Virgo. All right. You take good care of your home. You take good care of yourself. You're a nurturer. Um, I think I was reading on a pregnant Virgo one time, and I, I don't know, but that one was ready to go. Ooh, the star. That star comes out a lot. The star's been coming out a ton. Uh, a ton. For not just the videos, for my my personals, hotlines, all of it. Ooh, and the moon. Okay, Virgo. You need to understand you are an empress, right? This is um Taurus or um, Libra energy. So you may have either one of those in your chart. But uh, Virgo, you're you're a high vibrational, beautiful person. Very very feminine. Very nurturing. Very loving. Um, definitely talking to a female Virgo here, um, you know, who is kind and gentle and nurturing and is a healer, right? Definitely could have some Aquarius or some Pisces. That is three, three majors, I just realized. That's huge. Uh, Virgos are going through a lot. And with this moon, it looks like in the star together, I am getting that my empresses are healing any kind of depression healing any illusions, especially by tapping into their spirit guides and their angels and asking for protection, but also staying rooted and grounded and knowing that you are protected. Three of Wands. All right. And I think my Virgo understands that there are really great days ahead. And that if you're American, especially, things are really, really crazy right now. But this Virgo has a deep inner knowing that things will get better. They're healing any kind of sadness. I think both in self and others. Ooh, -hoo, high priestess. Are you serious? Wow. Virgo. Um, that's intense. With the Empress and the High Priestess here for you, um, with the Star and the Moon, that is really, really intense energy. Whatever it is you're waiting for, Virgo, it's happening. Like, you feel it, and it's going to happen for you. I can totally feel it. Sorry, I just had to double check something, because I feel like there was a client I just read for that had uh, similar energy and... I had to check his birthday, but wow, wow, Virgo, I, I mean, don't normally get that many mages in one, like that one spot, okay, ten of swords for your person, they're hurting, your person is hurting in a way, um, and I think, I don't think you did it. Not this Virgo. Ooh, the lovers. Yeah, this person, whoever you're dealing with, Virgo, was definitely hurt in the past. And that's why they're really, really scared to get hurt, but they need to let that go because they have a lot of feelings for you. Um, I didn't really get how many any feelings that you have for this person, which is interesting. Ooh, five of pentacles. I'm getting, Virgo, you don't really think about this person very much. But this person certainly thinks about you. Wow, justice. 
Virgo. Someone got their comeuppance. <laughs> and I do think that you know this person's coming back to you, Virgo. You know it. You feel it. If you want it or not, I'm not 100% sure. Mercury retrograde. This is my first retrograde on YouTube. Okay. Um, but yeah, this person wants you back. Oh, I just started. Oh my God, I just channeled freaking the Jackson 5. I want you back. Yes, I do now. I cannot sing. But I really want to like bust out that whole song right now. Because this person definitely wants you back. Virgo, it's one of those readings. Two of Wands. They're just not sure how to make it happen. They don't, they, but this person is definitely in love with you. They miss you like crazy. And you're haunting them. Good job, Virgo. Whatever this is about. Ooh, Magician at the bottom of the deck. That's, um, I think that's a Virgo card as well. But I, it's definitely Gemini. Um, I think I've heard other readers call it call it Virgo, though. I want a babe. Sorry. It's been a long day. <laughs> anyway. That was just a little tiny babe. So, what's interesting? Virgo. This reading's a little stressful for me. I'm not going to lie. Because I don't know if you want this person back or not. I really don't know. And I don't want to, like, offend any cross-watchers, which I may have in the last video. I even realize I probably totally offended Taurus's person. <laughs> but it's not... I don't know. Or, or it could flip-flop. You know, things... Energy switch. I always forget to say that. Ooh. Five of Wands, Virgo. Um... like that five of wands at all and actually reminds me a lot more of the five of swords with the eight of cups virgo you want nothing to do with this person you are all set the devil there it is you're not interested in this person at all virgo um and you shouldn't be i think you do need to keep walking and i think that you know, you should definitely, um, I do think that there was a bit of a level of obsession on your end, Virgo, maybe with this person at one point, but you're over it now. Please do not, you know, bury yourself in alcohol or anything. Yeah, you're going to want to, if this person does come back during this retrograde, and I expect this to be a theme um you know during retrogrades a lot of exes do come back it's a, it is a thing um so god if this this is the theme of the readings this week i'm gonna cry but it's life it's the truth ace of swords you're straight you are so all set with this person virgo and um it's, this is reminding me a lot of the um, Taurus reading. Ooh, strength. You know, it's funny. Well, we got Libra energy and Gemini energy. You could totally be dealing with an air sign over here. Um, but strength is strong Leo. Strength with the two. But this person, I think confusion has always messed this person up. I don't see cheating. I don't see anything really that harsh. Although, I'll let you tell it, Virgo. Um, I do see someone who, kind of like Taurus, where the person was like way, didn't know what they wanted. So, Virgo, if this person didn't know what they wanted, and you were like, well then, eat a dick. You know, I don't blame you. Yep. Five of Pentacles again. This person is chilly. They are freezing their ass off out in the cold. I don't care where you live. You can live in friggin' Southern California where it's hot as hell. 
this person is freezing cold inside. Like they are not happy and they are feeling the lack of their Virgo. They are missing you like cray cray. Yeah, ooh, King of Pentacles could be dealing with an earth sign. Justice again? Is that justice again? No. So the Hierophant. Wow. All right. Yeah, you may have been married to this person, Virgo. Temperance at the bottom of the deck, Sagittarius energy. You may have been married to this person, and now not so much. Um, or it was a very, very strong commitment on its way to marriage, or you guys talked about it. Um, but, and maybe that's where the indecision came, like, oh, well, you don't want to marry me? Four of Pentacles, damn. Yeah, don't talk to this person, Virgo. I don't think that, um, I think you need to keep your emotions to yourself. I know that you had some strong, you did have strong feelings for this person at one point. Um, if you don't anymore, I don't think you need to let this person know. I'm not getting like restraining water vibes or anything, you know? So it's like, but this person definitely misses you, you know? Uh, let me see. What else is going on? What else? Come on, give me something good. Queen of Swords with the Knight of Wands. Yeah, damn, this is similar to... All right, so, and I've done two readings in between this and Taurus. So... Um, and I've shuffled the cards a hell of a lot. So, ooh, two of cups. Your person is, <sighs> this is like total unrequited love reading. And these kind of like suck the life out of me. This person is so in love with you, Virgo. And you are just 100% all set. Oh, I mean, but I think this person fucked up. And I mean... I don't know, man. I, it's, let me see. Queen of Wands, Nine of Swords, Two of Pentacles. You are probably the Queen of Wands. I'm taking you as the Queen of Wands, causing this person. Not causing this person. That was dramatic. That was me being a Queen of Wands, being a drama queen. Um, but, all right. The per this person's love for you is causing them a lot of, of anxiety and making them, like, wonder what to do. They do not know how to approach you, Virgo. And I don't think you want them to. So just leave it. I mean, judgment at the bottom of the shit. Maybe you do. Okay. Final verdict. Final verdict. Does Virgo let this person back in? Uh, personals. Info is in the description box below. Because this is so personal weather. Yep. You need to just focus. You got knowledge with the star and domination. You really just need to focus on healing yourself, sweetie. I, I don't think letting this person in is going to be what's up right now. I just don't. I think you need to heal. You don't even seem into them. You have no, like, this... No love. Ain't no love here for you Vir from Virgo to whoever this is. <sighs> Mother of fire with destruction. It's over, Virgo. Um, yeah. Uh, it looks like... Actually, this person could have cheated. But I don't have any threes here. And there's it takes a lot for me to really call that definitively. Or they may have just been like so completely emotionally unavailable. Whatever it is, they killed this relationship with, with what whatever it is they did. And I and it and and I think that if you let them back in, destruction is back on the table. Final verdict, no. There is love. There's love, but you can always love people from afar. and Or you can give this person more time to actually, like, let go of some of this lack mentality, 
get their confidence up. Because I don't see apologies. I don't see, you know, and I don't see them coming in. I see them just completely confused as to how to come at you. And I think that they're super intimidated by you. I really do. I think this one's the female and this is the male. Or masculine energy. I mean, it could be two women, two men. But it does seem like there's a little bit of a reversal where the dude is really intimidated by the woman. And I mean, that does happen too, you know. So, let's see. Abandon. Whoa. Yep. Abandon this connection for now. Virgo. I'm sorry. That sucks. But it doesn't because that just makes room for someone better or room for this person to grow. You don't mind either. I don't think this is bad news for you, Virgo. I really don't. I think that, you know, you just focusing on your own healing is what needs to just happen. And this person needs to face their fears. No doubt. This card comes out a lot. So, complications. Damn. Okay, guys. Rough. Rough, rough stuff. But, wh whatever energy I picked up on. I do think that this was a special connection at one point. I really do. And I think that, you know, um, I, I think it caused you, though, a, to have to heal a whole lot. And that's not, that's not how we want to end up at the end of a relationship. So, Virgo, I'm really sorry, you know, but... Make room, release any neg. get rid of this devil energy, burn sage, use crystals, do, do hippie shit, you know, uh, in order to get rid of that feeling and, and, and build up your confidence because like you're amazing. Empress and the high priestess, you know what's up and you're, you're a high quality person high high quality person and very gifted and and i want you to find your worth now because um whoever's energy i picked up on tonight is amazing and this person didn't recognize it they didn't fully recognize it when they had it and that's their fault not yours all right virgo i love you please subscribe like all that stuff um and personal info uh you know you can email me at mamafayatero at gmail.com all right thank you guys take care